वेलकम बैक द सेम सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑर्डर दैट बैंड जली कट ऑल्सो बैंड होल होस्ट ऑफ सिमिलर एनिमल रेसेज एनिमल कॉन्टेस्ट इन अदर स्टेट्स नाउ वीर ऑलरेडी सींग वॉइस इज फ्रॉम कर्नाटका महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश एज फार अवे एज असम सेंग दैट इफ यू ब्रिंग जली कट बैक दैन आवर ट्रेडिशनल स्पोर्ट्स शुड बी ब्रॉड बैक बिकॉज दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ आवर कल्चर सो इज दिस सेटिंग अ प्रिसिडेंट विच रिली अंडज अ लॉट ऑफ the effort that animal rights activists have been making over decades to try and prevent cruelty to animals here's the story chennai's marina beach epicenter of the jali cut agitation sea of humanity joining hands for a common cause As people in Tamil Nadu fight for jelly cut, similar such demands are now being made in other states. The jelly cut agitation has ignited the demand for bullock cut race in Maharashtra. The Shiv Sena wants that the ban on bullock cut race be lifted in the state. It's a jelly cut to effect in Maharashtra. The bullock cut racing was part of the culture of farming community, especially in the western Maharashtra. which was banned by pca act and the maharashtra government then tried to revive it with the use of resolution but finally the supreme court order in 2014 banned it with jali cut too now shiv sena aggressively demanding that the ban should be lifted and it's not just maharashtra several groups in karnataka are demanding an end to the ban on kambala a form of buffalo racing high court had banned the traditional sport in november last year Kambala like jelly cut was banned after animal rights group PETA approached the court citing animal cruelty in sports like bull taming and buffalo racing In view of the Supreme Court verdict on jelly cut the Karnataka High Court had stayed the conduct of the festival that is held in coastal Karnataka A petition filed by various Kambala organizers asking that the High Court stay be vacated will be considered on January 30th However already there are demands that the state government brings a legislation to legalize the traditional sport please support us to save the culture of this tulunadu uh, kambala is nothing but the culture of this tulunadu while its cattle sports that are at the center of the attention in tamil nadu karnataka and maharashtra it is the cock fight that the people of andhra are agitating for the jelly cut agitation has opened a pandora's box for similar such demands The question is can the tradition supersede the law Bureau report India today Ambika Shukla is joining us on this broadcast Justice Markande Kadju is joining us on this broadcast Sir Ajshekran is still with us from Chennai I want to go across to Ambika Shukla first because we spoke over this weekend and this is exactly what you said would happen that uh, after Jali Kat is brought back people will start demanding that kambala be brought back in karnataka bullock cart racing in maharashtra bull bull fighting in assam cock fights in andhra pradesh and that is exactly what's happened have we set a very very dangerous precedent ambika yes and if animals had a vote you would see a completely different outcome why should uh all of these demands be restricted only to those practices where animals are victimized let us go further back let us go to traditions that india why don't we just go back to widow burning let us go back to sati let us go back to child marriage let us go back to thagi let us go back to the caste system let us go back to all those wonderful things that have also been held as tradition let us not just restrict it to where animals are the victims let us go back to our real traditions to our real roots okay justice so kaju If Let animals had a vote, this would have never happened. Ambika Shukla alleging that we are bowing down before crass populism, just because it's popular, we are giving in. The poor animal doesn't have a vote, and therefore you do to the animal what you please. How do you respond, Justice Kaju? Are we setting a dangerous precedent? Now, uh, I would like to ask uh, whether fishing should fishing should be banned. because when you take a fish out of water then you know it cannot breathe out of water and it is flopping around in agony 
uh, naturally it is cruelty to the fish so should fishing be banned should all meat uh, cutting be banned because you are you cut the neck Absolutely. of the goat or chicken and in halal meat uh, the muslims Absolutely. they you know cut it very slowly so, uh, oh you may think so but the point is that all right then you are entitled to your opinion and i am entitled to mine should uh, mm, uh, you know in horse riding Absolutely. Uh, i don't know whether you've done Absolutely. it you have to hit the horse with your heel to make it run faster and you have to pull the uh, the, um, the reins at um, there's a bit in the mouth which makes it uncomfortable to slow it down then a dog can uh, uh, for dog you have to do training and horse you have to do training sometimes you have to beat them to train them so i mean you can't equate an animal with a human being the problem with these no, uh, animal right activists is they think an animal is a human being okay that is not correct ambika shukla you can't equate an animal to a human to be being Justice Kaju citing the examples of training dogs, uh, beating a horse when the horse is running, uh, and saying that you simply cannot equate an animal to a human being. Then you have to stop fishing. You have to stop uh, halal. You have to stop everything. You have basically have the whole world has to go vegan. There is a complete difference, and the analogy is a foolish and childish one. because there is a law in this case that that actually prevents the use of animals in performing uh, arenas which goes contrary to their nature while i might be personally against murdering animals for f uh, or fish for eating there is no law prohibiting the same the day there is a law and i hope there will be one soon and i'm sure there will be one soon that too will be illegal and it will be and all cruelty is condemnable and is you know anybody who supports cruelty has to be you know a, a, a perverted anybody who can say that animals are not human beings yes but animals also deserve freedom from fear and freedom from pain they have not been put on this earth just to suffer so kindly uh, you know do not make foolish equations you're calling this uh, a foolish equation justice kaju you strong words there from the animals rights are? activists saying that this is not about a moral argument this is about a law the prevention to cruelty to animals and that law needs to be enforced the law and you've been a supreme court judge no less you more than anyone else realizes that it's not about these moral arguments about non vegetarianism versus vegetarianism it's about going out and enforcing the law as it exists justice kaju see the, the the judgment i'm not challenging the judgment of supreme court but that judgment was based on the law that is prevention of cruelty to animals act now that act can be changed can be amended by ordinance and and, uh, um, and by the legislature so uh, uh, that is what uh, um, has been done in tamil nadu and rightly done you must realize one thing this is a country of great diversity this country has so much diversity that no other country in the world has so many religions castes languages regional groups you, uh, unless you give you respect the traditions and culture of people of all parts of india you will not remain united i tell you this country cannot remain united even for one day unless you give equal respect to everybody because there's such tremendous diversity that uh, uh, unless you give equal respect you will not remain together that's a very so important argument you may not feel strongly about jalli kattu but you, people in tamil nadu do okay that's a good argument from justice kaju that uh, people sitting outside of tamil nadu may not may relate to it? the sport in the same fashion but we've seen not just on marina beach but across tamil nadu and i was in chennai personally for the india today chennai conclave i could feel it fact is no matter what you and i may think people in tamil nadu and very smart sensible people ar rahman vishwanathan anand these are not crazies these are not lunatics these are not anti nationals these are smart intelligent compassionate people who say this is our culture find a way around the cruelty regulate it have some guidelines don't take away our culture that's a very very compelling populist argument ambika shukla yes the same things were said about sati that this is our tradition this is our culture but every society must do away with regressive unethical practices and move towards a compassionate just world that is the nature of progress so you know you cannot hold it as a tradition and say it is our lifetime right to torture bulls just because it was done earlier 
you know that is a, that is a really regressive viewpoint and i'm astonished that people i mean this whole debate has been triggered by some has been actor blathering on about uh, biryani he should have stuck to his realm of expertise uh, and uh, not uh, ventured an opinion on anything else so you know it's Jew, the sati argument sati and, was uh, once part of our culture look, uh, lot of people including women culture. were proud of the fact that they'd gone uh, a funeral pyre once their husband died also the bull fighting argument from spain the matadors have been banned bull fighting has been banned in a country really. uh, for which bull fighting was a key part of its culture justice cut you listen is a sati a, an animal or a human being again you are equating a human being with an animal sati is done on a woman a human yeah. being not perhaps i'm because uh, we are equating that, uh, a cultural tradition with a cultural bulls. tradition no, they were human a tradition beings. with a, a tradition you can't equate a human okay. No, no justice kaju what about bull fighting what about the matadors what about the matadors what about bull fighting which is a key it's part a of cultural. spanish culture in a bull fighting in a bull fighting a bull is killed please understand in jallikattu bull is not killed there is a vital difference so see i am telling you again and again do you want many to animals have died united or not animals If you have want died. to break it up it's okay have animal rights and break up the country no yes, and there is let, uh, there. break up the country uh, uh, you uh, you oh, uh, animal <laughs> no, no, rights activists ridiculous. will be very happy no one second yeah. i i just want to animal make a point to both my guests i realize that yeah. passions are running yeah. high but on the news room i like it if our guests speak one at a time ambika shukla i want you to allow justice kaju to complete his argument which he now has and then respond he is saying that you have to respect traditions and cultures of different communities that's what holds so she, india she together we are a diverse country ambika must respond yeah yeah rahul there is yeah there is a tradition that goes far beyond jalikat uh sati all of these tradition there's a tradition of compassion and that is what india has always stood for non violence it was mahatma gandhi the father of our nation who said that the civilization of a nation can be judged by the way it treats its animals so let us respect the traditions of india let us respect the compassion let us respect article 51 of the constitution of india which directs all of all of our citizens to show compassion to all living beings so there we are respecting tradition and we are respecting our culture let us not pervert it okay final words justice kaju you know tradition and culture evolve there may have been cultures or there may have been traditions which were fashionable at one point in time over a period of time you know you evolve you change to the circumstances that's the reality otherwise you look at the look at our traditional texts a lot of what they say is no longer applicable you move with the times untouchability was part of our culture it's part of our tradition but you moved away from it so there is that argument as well i want justice kaju to make his final comments see firstly untouchability was done on human beings not on animals secondly i agree that extreme cruelty should not be done to so? the bull like pouring uh, chili powder in its eyes or uh, cutting off its tail or um, making it swallow alcohol Th those should be prohibited and i'm uh, sure the bill which has been passed by the tamil nadu legislature legislature has got such uh, regulations and prohibitions so you prohibit extreme cruelty to the bull but otherwise i don't see any any problem in having jelly cut to having bullock cart um, uh, racing and all you, you know i have one final uh, question to uh, ambika uh, shukla uh, will the people the ngo people for animals be going to the supreme court tomorrow now that you have a copy of the ordinance you have a copy of the bill will there be a petition in the supreme court tomorrow ambika we will be doing everything we can to uphold the law and uphold compassion towards animals and all living beings and towards a better kinder world for us there is enough senseless cruelty and violence all around us let us not add to it by these foolish uh practices no, that's, a, that's, a, generic that's a generic answer that's a generic answer miss shukla to a very do our best towards that that's a generic answer to a very specific question i ask you my question again will the people for animals we will be doing the, everything it takes yep 
so people for animals the ngo will be going to the we supreme court tomorrow against the tamil nadu ordinance on jali cut is that correct mr shukla i'm not aware of the specifics but like i said we will do everything that we can okay no because we've seen a statement and i hope we have the support of the people of india no because in we this, in no, this no, effort no no i ask you this question because there's a statement that was put out today by people for animals saying it's noticed in some news channels in tamil nadu uh, that the ordinance regarding jali cut issued by the state government has been challenged by the supreme court by the people for animals it is hereby clarified that this news is false but also mischievous you're now saying that you will do whatever you can uh to challenge and quash this ordinance which yes, you believe is wrong in supreme court we will do whatever court. we can we will do whatever we can i don't know the specifics we are in uh, we are uh, uh, considering all our options and we will do whatever it takes to fight for a better world for all living beings That's interesting Justice Kaju I'm out of time but I can't help asking you this one last question There is enough violence given that the this, given that the law ministry has been consulted here Okay I'm out of time so very quickly please yes Ms Shukla Can I can, can I just yeah I'm not saying and as far as the violence in the Marina Beach goes I would like to point out that what goes around comes around if you support okay. Okay justice justice card you given right that the law ministry was so consulted given that the prime minister gave his blessings given that the president okayed the ordinance if a review petition or if this was to be challenged in the supreme court what do you think would happen justice card you in my opinion it is unlikely that any challenge will succeed because of article 254 clause 2 of the constitution which says that if a state law is made uh, uh, altering the central law and it receives the assent of the president and it is matters in the concurrent list then the state law will prevail so i think the legal position is very clear that if once the no, president no, the gives the assent then i doubt that any challenge can succeed but there are eminent lawyers like um, because of article 254 there are, there, are, there are eminent lawyers like dr abhishek manu singh we will be arguing on the other side it will be interesting to see what happens next this jalli cut battle is now heading to the supreme court and that's where this will be fought next very interesting to see what view the supreme court takes we've heard from the former justice of course thank you very much justice markande kadju and ambika shukla for joining me on the newsroom two totally different points of view as always on the newsroom we don't impose our view on our viewers we've brought you the polar opposite points of view and believe it to you to decide who you believe has the more compelling argument this is where i wrap up the news room tonight very exciting weeks ahead of us we'll be back again at 10 pm tomorrow evening with another action packed edition of the news room till then from all of us here in the india today news room goodbye good night